A while back I failed to recommission an early 90s Gazelle Special that most likely has a broken rear hub bearing and it also has a frozen solid seat tube. Big problems for a bicycle that is supposed to be used by visiting friends. So I did the uh, more sensible thing and brought home another 10 euro bicycle. So meet the, also from the early 90s, Gazelle Maxinet. An odd looking bicycle made for smallish people with a low step through frame. It took a while before I realized that this uh, beauty has smaller wheels. That and the uh, large space between the rear wheel explains why this bicycle looks a bit odd. Apparently Gazelle had been making this model from the uh, 60s till the 90s, specifically for smaller and older people that wanted or needed a low step through frame. So that's what I bought here, it's a late 90s Gazelle Maxinet. And it's kinda cool and I will definitely not scrap this bicycle for parts. But it does have a few oddities for a Gazelle from the early 90s. For one, it doesn't have the typical Gazelle integrated rear light, probably because of the need for a smaller mudguard. And the uh, groomed rear carrier looks a bit out of place for a Gazelle of this era. Also these uh, platform pedals look like uh, they were made a decade earlier. It's all a bit uh, strange. Perhaps some other factory made these bicycles for Gazelle. But it really doesn't matter and for a 10 euro bicycle it still looks very good. I think uh, the Gazelle quality is definitely here. And this one seems to have survived the last 30 years rather well. And I'm curious to find out how this uh, rather small wheeler will ride and handle. But before I take it out for a test ride, I need to do some minor bike tinkering. Starting with the uh, removal of these old cycle computer leftovers and this uh, rather stretched carrier strap. So after a wash and drying it in the sun, I brought the bicycle inside the barn to fix a few issues. Because I cannot ride this bicycle while this lower part of the chain case is hanging on, on top of the chain. And that makes a terrible noise when cycling. So I'm going to remove it before I take my uh, test ride. There's a screw missing. And if needed, I can take the, uh, the chain case from the Gazelle Special and try to uh, fix this uh, bicycle. But maybe my, uh, my neighbor can help me with some, uh, with some parts. That uh, chain does need a little bit of tensioning, but not too much. Um, next I should put some oil on the uh, shifting cable. Because I already noticed that um, the, uh, the rear hub was in between gears when I uh, tried to uh, pedal. And I will definitely put a drop of oil uh, in the hub. But first I will spray some WD-40 uh, on the uh, shifter. I'm not really sure where I should spray the uh, WD-40. I'm just hoping some of it uh, will eventually get inside the uh, cable. To be honest, it already feels better, more uh, positive. Click, click. Oh, hmm. It kind of looks weird. It is jumping back from first to second with only a very light touch. That uh, little spring inside the uh, Sturmy Archer uh, hub isn't uh, that strong. 
Not sure what is going on here. But maybe it will improve with some use. So I wasn't able to get this uh, little nut loose. So I brought my pliers. Yeah, I got it. I got a little bit of electrical tape to plug off the holes on the side here. So the oil that I'm squirting in will stay in. Greasy fingers. And now I'm going to lean the bicycle against the doors at an angle. Some of that uh, liquid gold came out. And I'm hoping none of it will uh, end up in the uh, drum brake. I'm going to place the bicycle upside down so I can check out the, uh, the chain and the chain case and spin the hub a little bit. But before I can do this I need to uh, flip the uh, bell out of the way. And it kind of looks like this bell is uh, made from copper or bronze, not sure. It is also placed out of, out of the way of using it with a thumb. But that's not something I need to worry about now. So the maxi net is uh, upside down, standing on top of its uh, uh, old Dutch leather saddle. Not sure if it is a uh, leather. It might be uh, some kind of fake leather. But it is a model that I have seen uh, many times on uh, older Dutch bicycles. All right, now I'm going to spin the uh, the cranks and uh, find out if uh, and try to find out if all of the gears are there. So this should be third gear. Hmm. Not sure. And this is second. Again, I'm not sure. And this will be first. It might be... Yeah, I think it's a little bit uh, easier to turn the uh, crank. Moving to second. And now I'm moving to third. Oh, I'm already in third. Back to second. Yeah, I think it's a little bit lighter to turn. And now I move to uh, first. I think we're good. This chain is a bit dirty. It is also kind of dry. It probably didn't get any loop for many years. Well, that's not something I'm going to worry about now. I might need to tension the uh, chain just a little bit, but I think we're good. I should be ready for a test ride after I spray on a little bit of WD-40 to loosen up this uh, old grease. With the lower half of the chain case removed, it's a perfect opportunity to test the uh, stretch of the chain, and I believe if this uh, drops in between the links, the uh, chain is one. And it has uh, two sides and basically as far as I understand it's, uh, well if it drops in between the links it is one and needs replacing. 
Well, that's enough uh, WD-40. Tomorrow I'll uh, clean it a bit with an old rag, but uh, for tonight I will uh, let the uh, chain soak up that uh, diesel. Check this out. A chain case with an integrated WD-40 bath. I should ask for a patent. So I checked all of the uh, tabs on the lower and upper part of the uh, chain case and I haven't found any that have been broken off. So if my uh, neighbor can help me with, a, uh, with that uh, rear piece of the chain case, I think I can still uh, salvage this uh, case. So tomorrow I will start test riding this bicycle without the uh, lower chain case. And I think this uh, bicycle will be a lot easier to recommission than that uh, Gazelle Special. Fingers crossed and let's hope for the best. The rear hub on this bicycle has 18 tooth. Count for yourself and I suggest you use that little notch here as a uh, reference point. And I believe 18 tooth is one less than uh, what is normal for a uh, Sturmy Archer hub. Man, the wind is blowing hard today. I think you will hear this on camera. Okay, I think I'm all the way around. So this morning I took the bicycle out for a uh, quick little test ride. And uh, everything was good. Except for the uh, shifting mechanism. As you can see at the moment, the hub is in between gears. But I think with a, a new cable, or at least a new outer cable, that uh, problem should be solved. Um, yeah, the bicycle is too small for me. It really is made for someone that is like 1 meter 60, 1 meter 65 maximum. I'm 174 and my knees are almost uh, hitting the, uh, the grips on the handlebar. But it's not too bad. But I did have to set the, uh, uh, the saddle to the uh, maximum height and that was still a bit too low for me. But it uh, might work out for uh, other people. Um, I didn't notice, uh, well, the smaller wheels so far, they haven't bothered me. I know it looks a bit odd, but it is uh, comfortable enough. Um, other issues that I have found is uh, uh, the brake cables, they are a bit stiff. They need uh, some lubrication and uh, on the rear brake one of the uh, strands of the uh, brake cable, one or two of the strands have uh, broken. So I think I will uh, have to replace that one. Right, now I'm going to uh, install the lower piece of the uh, chain guard and then maybe take the uh, rear section from the Gazelle Special and I'm mostly done with this bicycle. As you can see I have uh, reinstalled the uh, lower piece of the chain case although I did need to do a little modification here so it wouldn't hit the uh, band in the uh, bracket and as far as I can tell there really was nothing wrong with this uh, lower piece of the chain case the problem was uh, this missing screw. Although there is a little bit of play in the bracket, so um, it can still slide forwards and backwards a little bit. But I think it will be okay after I have reinstalled the uh, rear piece of the chain case. And talking about the rear piece, 
This is the piece that I borrowed from the Gazelle Special. It really doesn't need it right now. But although this is for uh, this type of chain case, it's not a simple matter of plug and play. Um, I think I need to cut off this section before I can fit it. Also this rear cock here is dished towards the inside of the uh, wheel and because of that there's not a lot of uh, room behind the cock. So after doing a little modification let's find out if this uh, rear section will now fit. It is uh, hitting the uh, uh, Sturmy Archer uh, dust cover and it might also be a little tight on this side. I think on the uh, uh, Gazelle Special the whole axle was moved further towards the back so it would sit in, the, in this open section here. Alright, I'll be right back after some more cutting. After some more cutting and grinding and smelling fumes from that uh, melting plastic, I think I have made it uh, fitting. There you go. It's not exactly the same color, but it is very close. Alright, now comes the uh, most difficult part, and that is getting this stupid trim piece to fit. And you should line it up and then it uh, will screw in. But yeah, it is slippery. I got oily fingers. And it will probably be a nightmare. I cannot get any grip on this thing. Perhaps I should drill a hole in there so I can poke something through the uh, through this piece. It feels like it's correctly positioned on one side, but not on the other. I knew it. I knew this was going to be a nightmare. <sighs> well, no point in uh, recording any further. I'll get this done. So there's the problem. I managed to misalign one of the tabs. So now I gotta take everything apart again and start over. Well everything is back together and I won't lie, there were many, many many curse words but that's all behind me now but there will definitely be more once this uh, trim piece comes flying off and that will happen but don't think uh, this struggle is all over now yep I guess uh, that's the reason why this uh, rear piece was missing in the first place just as difficult as a uh, cloth chain guard Perhaps even more frustrating. Looks like the oil that I shot into the hop is coming out a little bit more brown than before. Huh. I guess that's not good for the bearings. Well, that's something to worry about later. So I removed a little bit more material and I think that uh, solved the problem. Yep. Finally I'm done with this uh, stupid chain guard. This chain case is not as close as I would have liked. You can clearly see the uh, chain there. But yeah, it's not something I'm going to worry about. I think I found the reason why the uh, rear brake cable 
was moving so uh, stiff. I think there's some rust underneath the uh, outer cable here. And there's another spot over here. So at some point I should replace the whole cable. But I'm not going to worry about this uh, for now because I want to take this bicycle out for a test ride. But as you can probably hear, the wind is blowing hard today, so I'm not going to bring the camera. So I had another test ride, and I think most of the problems that I had with this bicycle are, uh, are gone after I squirted some oil on the, uh, on the cables. Um, I also turned around the, uh, the saddle. As you can see, the uh, strap is now on the other side, and that gave me uh, more room between the frame. My knees are now no longer um, reaching the handlebars. Um, I think tonight I will take the bicycle out for a longer test ride and then I will uh, bring the camera. But before I do that I want to have a look at the, uh, at the lights. As you can see I already checked the front light so I know the dynamo is good. Next I want to have a look in here. See if the uh, light bulb is uh, still okay. This tab on the other side is missing. But one tab seems to be doing the trick. Damn, it's hard to turn. Alright, now I'll hold this uh, against the light, see if the uh, thin wire is still uh, in there. And I believe it is. So we're good here. I'll uh, put everything back together. Maybe some contact spray just to be sure. Because, well, it's a 30 year old bicycle. The thread in here is a bit stiff. No. That's tight enough. And now let's close the patient. It's kind of cool that I didn't have to take out a rusty screw. After searching for a bit, I found a problem. Um, not sure if this is original or if this is a uh, repair. It does look kind of odd. But I'll try to open up this uh, connector and then I will strip this wire and uh, hopefully I can uh, press everything back together. But I'm not going to film all of, the, all of this because that will be uh, difficult. But I'll get it done. Well I managed to get uh, everything back together. And I put on a drop of super glue just to be sure. And uh, now I need to try and uh, get this uh, rubber sleeve uh, back onto that uh, metal connector. And yeah, it was uh, a difficult and awkward Board. job. So everything is uh, back together. And hopefully, this will not bother me again. Okay, now we need to test the light. I'm lifting the front of the bicycle so I can spin the wheel and I cannot see the rear light from here. Hopefully hopefully the light is burning. But I won't know till I look at the uh, footage. So apparently I fixed the light and that's good. Now the last thing that I want to do before I take my test ride is install this old pair of panniers and that will be uh, useful for bringing a camera. How does this uh, look? Huh, does look a bit odd. But you can see there's plenty of room between the uh, mud guard and the uh, uh, saddle tube so you won't kick the uh, panniers with your heels. Alright, I guess you'll see me tonight. 
if the weather isn't uh, taking a turn for the worse. So it's almost a year later and if I remember correctly it did start uh, to rain that evening so I never took this bicycle out for a test ride. But uh, to be honest it is too small for me and pretty soon after shooting this video I gave the uh, bicycle away. I did install a, uh, a battery operated light and another saddle although that um, saddle cover that's not mine and uh, let's see I, I replaced the uh, dynamo for a uh, quieter dynamo with a bigger drive wheel and that's pretty much it oh no I also installed a, uh, a little bicycle computer and looking at these numbers this bicycle did get some use this past year and that is uh, why it is back in uh, in the old barn because it needs some maintenance the uh, the rear uh, the rear tire is flat actually the uh, rear tire is uh, totally worn out so I uh, ordered some replacement tires and when I'm replacing the uh, tires I'm also going to have a look at the um, uh, the the rear hub, and I'm also going to replace the um, uh, the chain because that was also well worn. Anyway, that's it for this video. And if I feel like it, I might make a uh, follow-up video replacing the uh, tire and doing some general maintenance. Anyway, that's it. Like, subscribe, yada yada yada, and uh, to be continued.